Good morning or good afternoon. How are you today? I'm wonderful. Today is Wednesday. Is it hump day? Because there's only four days this week. So maybe it's not really hump day. But you can always call Wednesday hump day. It's the nickname. Now, today we're going to look at the oral test. This is your oral test. Did you color it? Did you write the answers? Did you write the answers first and then color it? Good. But we're also going to look at my oral test. So beautiful. Do you see the beautiful coloring? I'm so good. Now, what are we going to do? Is it the OTR? The oral test review? Yes, it is. But how can we do the oral test review on YouTube? Well, it's very easy. We're going to look at my test. We're going to go over the answers again. We're going to practice reading the answers and then eyes closed reciting the answers. Now, some of these answers go together. They're in pairs. Do you remember what pairs are? What is a pair? It means two. You have a pair of eyes. So that means you wear a pair of glasses. You have a pair of feet. So you wear a pair of shoes or a pair of socks. You have a pair of legs, beautiful legs. So you don't wear one pant, you wear a pair of pants. Do we understand pairs? Yes, of course. But on the test, number two and number three are a pair. Number four and number five are a pair. And that's all that's on the oral test, but we can do more pairs of those questions with different answers. Remember, on the oral test, you can give any answer. On the oral test review, you give my answers, but then I like to hear different answers because that's good practice. And remember, Practice makes perfect. So, take out your oral test. If it looks like this, good. If it looks like this, bad. That means you didn't do your classwork. So, you should stop the video right now. Hit, not stop, I'm sorry. Pause the video. Finish writing your answers. Color the pictures. Coloring. It's not just for fun, it's important. It makes your test beautiful, and it makes you want to look at the beautiful test. And if you're looking at it, you're going to read, and you're going to get smarter. You'll learn. So, make sure your test is beautiful, and then start the video again, and we can review. Are you ready? Let's go. And here we see both tests, the blank one and the one that I finished. Which one are we going to look at when we do the review? It should be very obvious. Do you know that word? Obvious? Obvious means the answer is very easy. If I ask you, what is one plus one? Well, that's very easy. The answer is obviously two. But if I ask you a hard question, it's not obvious. Also, a pattern can be obvious, like the circle, square, star, circle, square, star, circle, square. You know it's a star next. Right now, do you see a pattern? I'm showing only Pixar characters. So, you should know, hey, no Chinese. Oh, 
Pixar so bad. No more Pixar characters. Let's get some DreamWorks characters next. Ah, that's much better. Now, back to the oral test. The question was easy. We're going to use the oral test with colors because it's beautiful. And when it's beautiful, it makes you want to look and pay attention. Ready for number one? And here is the beautiful oral test. What is the first thing you see when you look at my test? Did you say that my coloring is beautiful? Aw, oh, thank you. You're so sweet. But no, I want you to look at the words. Did you see a mistake? Did you see two mistakes? Number one. No, no, not number one. The first mistake. It says grade two. But you're grade one. You're first grade. Let's not count that one. It says OT5. Is this oral test number five? No, this is oral test number six. But last year, this was number five. This is my test from last year. So it still says number five. So are you going to erase the five? No, you cannot erase it. It's ink. It's from the computer from the printer. Do you remember print? Yes, the printer. You cannot erase it. So, you can take a pencil or a black pen and just kind of change it to a six. Now, go to number one. It says sing, but there's no slash. It should say sing slash recite. You can do that also with a pen or a pencil. And now take out everyone speak and open to page 53. Remember the first time we, rec we don't recite, the first time we read. Now you should be looking at your book and not the screen because it's a lot easier to read your book unless your writing is ugly, then the screen will be easier. But I'm going to do a little special effect, an effect to change the screen to make it easier. Now, does that help or do you think it makes it harder? I think it makes it easier, so we're going to keep it. But you can just look at your book. Ready? I will read first so you can hear me say it properly. And then you repeat. I want to visit Cairo, Egypt. I want to go to the pyramids. I want to see the Sphinx there. I also want to go to the Nile River. I want to watch belly dancers there. There are other exciting things to do in Cairo, too. I want to ride a camel and fight a mummy. I really hope to visit Egypt someday. Now, that should be very easy because we're just reading. It's not reciting. So, let's try it again. But you close your book. No reading. And let's see if I can do it. I will close my book. Ready? I want to visit Cairo, Egypt. I want to go to the pyramids. I want to see the Sphinx there. I also want to go to the Nile River. I want to watch belly dancers there. There are other exciting things to do in Cairo, too. I want to ride a mummy and fight a camel. I really hope to visit Egypt someday. Now, I did a great job because I am so smart. My brain is so big. I have a super mega brain. But can you do it? Can you do it with no book, no looking, no reading, just reciting? 
I think you can do it, but maybe not yet. You just need a little more practice. Now it's time for the other part of number one, the song. Activity four. Listen, read, and sing. Work. What does your father do? What does your mother do? What does your brother do? What do they do? What does your father do? He's a doctor. He's a doctor. He's a doctor. Yes, he is. I want to be a doctor, I want to be a singer, I want to be a rock star. I want to be a farmer, I want to be a dentist, I want to be a chef, I want to do it all. What does your father do? What does your mother do? What does your brother do? What do they do? What does your mother do? She's a singer. She's a singer, she's a singer, yes she is. What does your father do? What does your mother do? What does your brother do? What do they do? What does your brother do? He's a teacher, he's a teacher, he's a teacher, yes he is. What do you like to do? What do you want to be? What do you want to be? Please tell me. I want to be a doctor. I want to be a singer. I want to be a rock star. I want to be a farmer. I want to be a dentist. I want to be a chef. I want to do it all. What does your father do? What does your mother do? What does your brother do? What do they Okay, here we are for question number two and three. Remember, they're a pair. They go together. Number two, what does your father do? And the answer, he's an athlete. Say that word again, athlete. Remember, is an athlete a soccer player? Yes, but is a basketball player an athlete? Yes. Any sport, that's an athlete. Okay, number three, where does he work? Does he work in an office? No. He works in a stadium. Say that word again. Stadium. Do you remember what a stadium is? It's so beautiful, but more important, it's so big because the athletes play in a big stadium. Do we have any stadiums in Taiwan? Yes, we have many. What about in Taipei? It's a big city, so can we put a big stadium? Yes, I love the name of the stadium in Taipei. Do you know the name of the stadium in Taipei? I always think the name is very funny because the Chinese means little giant egg. I just think that's funny. But it's also a really cool stadium. Okay, let's try it again, but this time your father will not be an athlete. He will be something different. What is this down here? I'm sorry, you cannot see the whole picture. Let's change it. Let's zoom in again. There, now we can see him a little better. Ready? What does your father do? He's a firefighter. Where does he work? He works in a fire station. Do we remember fire station? Can you say firehouse? Yes, you can. It's not the real name. Fire Station is the real name, but it's okay to say Firehouse. 
All right. Let's move on to number three and four. So we need to zoom again, but go down. But wait, we did not zoom. What did we do? Did we swipe? Do you remember wipe and swipe? Remember, swiping is when you move something. So you swipe your phone left, you swipe right. And I said we don't swipe up and down. There's a different word for that. We will talk about it later, but I was wrong. It is okay to say swipe up and swipe down, but usually we say a different word. We'll talk about that next class. Right now, we'll just say swipe down or swipe up. Ready? Now read the question. What does your mother do? She's a veterinarian. Say it again. Veterinarian. Remember, there are two ways to say this word. You can say the E or not. If we say the E, it sounds like this. Veterinarian. Veterinarian. If we don't want to say the E, then we just say veterinarian. Veterinarian. So let's say it both ways. Ready? First, we will say the E. She's a veterinarian. And now no E. She's a veterinarian. Okay. And where does she work? She works in an animal hospital. But wait, look at the picture. Is that an animal hospital? Yes, it is. There's an animal, but you cannot see the drawing because my drawing was too big. I'm sorry. So you cannot see it on the screen right now. I wanted you to say a different answer from animal hospital but I didn't put it on the test, I'm sorry. Do you remember what it was? It's the same place a doctor works. Clinic. We're going to say she works in a clinic. Do you have to say animal clinic? You can say that, but it's a vet, a veterinarian. We know it's animals. Ready? Where does she work? She works in a clinic. Okay, let's move on. What do you want to be one day? I want to be a photographer. Say that word right. Photographer. Do we say photographer? No. Photographer. And what does a photographer do? takes pictures, takes photos. Okay, let's swipe the screen again. It says, what does your brother or sister want to be one day? Let's just start with brother. Ready? What does your brother want to be one day? He wants to be a superhero. And now sister. What does your sister want to be one day? She wants to be a superhero. Now I have a question. Superheroes, we love them. Is that a real job? No, it's not a real job. But your brother and sister are probably children, and that's what children want to be. Superheroes. But if you want to be a superhero, maybe you can be a different job. An actor. Do you remember actor? Then you can make movies and you can be the superhero. Let's move on. Next one, number eight. This person sings to lots of people. What is he? He's a rock star. Remember a singer? Not every singer is a rock star. You're only a rock star if you play rock music. Maybe someone sings, but it's classical music or something different. 
but we like to say rock star if you're singing for many people. Number nine. This person makes new things. What is she? She's an inventor. Do you remember inventor? Where does an inventor work? In a school? Or in a lab? A science lab? Remember laboratory? It's okay, just say lab. She works in a science lab. But that's not a question. Okay, number 10 is a question and it is on your test. How do you work hard? I always do my work and volunteer to help others. Say that word again, volunteer. Do you remember how to volunteer? Yes, in the classroom you just raise your hand and then you're volunteering to help. Very easy. Okay. We are finished with the OTR. You can go now. I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye.